Hello. Uh, I was tagged um, in a video by Banshee Scarol, and um, the tag is called the 10 Gothic Things tag, and it was created by, um, what's his name? I have it like, Mr. Belber. Um, so, since I was tagged, obviously I have to, you know, answer the questions, and I have them written down. Um, so, let's start this thing, shall we? Um, <laughs> if I could dress up as anything for Halloween, what would it be? Um, and that's if I had, like... A whole shitload of money <laughs> to uh, be able to do it. I would be Two Face from Batman. Um, Harlequin's a big one. I really liked her in Batman, the um, animated series. Um, who else? Pretty much like any villain <laughs> from like Batman. Um, yeah. Uh, question number two, what is your favorite horror video game? Um, I'll have to go with um, Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. I don't have the games with me because I don't have my Xbox here. It's back in Ontario, but definitely those ones. So I'm with you there. Um, <laughs> Banshee Scarol, you know, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Um, yeah, I love Left 4 Dead. Um, I love zombie related video games. So pretty much anything like that. Um, I'm a, I um, I really like um, Silent Hill too. That that game is pretty sweet. Uh, question number three: What is the nerdiest thing you are into? <laughs> um, let's see. I really like Star Trek. Um, I've liked it since I was a kid, and me and my dad and my mom used to watch it. And I actually have. Um, this. I've seen all of it, but I'm still trying to um, acquire the other two um, box sets from the original series. And then I'm going to uh, start collecting the next generation and then um, pretty much all the other ones. Um, I have the movies, but they're back in Ontario as well. My dad, because he watches them all the time. I also have like the books and stuff too. So. Yeah, I like Star Trek. Um, I'm also a pretty big Doctor Who fan. With my little um, TARDIS here, flying through space. And I also have um, this that I, I finished painting this yesterday. Um, it's a Doctor Who backpack that I painted. It has a TARDIS on it and outer space. So... Yeah, I like to paint on things, nerdy things. I might put the Enterprise on there. I'm not sure yet, because um, there's a meme that's going around on the internet, and it's Picard like doing this, and he's like, what the fuck is a police box doing in outer space? And I wanted to put like the Enterprise on it and then have that like written on the back or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those are the nerdy things I'm into, if you can call those things nerdy nowadays. But, you know... Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. what is your favorite band at the moment? Um, I go through, like, different moods when it comes to music. Um, like, normally I'll listen to, like, a band constantly until, like, I get sick of it. So, um, at the moment, um, like, the, the uh, like, the non-goth bands that I'm been listening to is like Bad Religion, um, Propagandi, whatever. Um, the gothic band that I've been listening to the most is um, London After Midnight. I've been listening to them like non-stop for the past like month and a half. Um, and yeah. <laughs> That's four. Um, number five. What books have you read recently? Um, the most book, the book that I read the most recent was, um, it was for my art and literature class and it was called What's Bread in the Bone. Um, that book's really good. It has to deal with, um, like an art dealer 
artist, like restorer kind of thing. It, it's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, you should check that book out. It's pretty good. Um, I like um, reading um, art books and like other books and sci-fi and horror and mystery novels. Um, like I said in previous videos, um, like I, I read all of the Dexter series. That's like a murder kind of mystery detective kind of stuff um, in the point of view of like a serial killer. So like I really enjoy books like that. Um, so yeah, these are, I have them here. I have also like science fiction, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I really like um, 15th century paintings and stuff. So I've been like, um, I bought these two books recently. One of them is um, 15th century paintings and another one is 16th century paintings. I haven't gotten through them yet because like I've been busy doing other things, but um, I like reading about that kind of stuff. Uh, keeps me sharp and um, kind of gives me inspiration for like my art and stuff like that. So I read a lot of art books. Um, number six, if you have um, wait, what was it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> if you have an ideal, um, gothic outfit that you could obtain, what is it? Um, have you ever seen Razor Candy? <laughs> She's gorgeous. So pretty much anything that that woman has ever had on her body is what I want as an outfit. More like my whole closet, pretty much. It's just like, can I, can I just, can I? <laughs> um, number seven, what is your dream job? Um, my dream job is to be um, a successful artist. <laughs> I mean, like I, I'm like I'm an artist still now, but I'd love to have like like art um, shows and be like fronted by galleries and stuff like that. That'd be really cool. But. Um, what, what I was going to do before I decided to um, get into art school and stuff like that was um, I wanted to be a doctor. and uh, But I was like just like I was afraid to, to fuck things up and like accidentally kill somebody <laughs> because like a, like your doctor shouldn't have like problems with like anxiety and depression. So um, yeah, that kind of didn't work out for me. But like in high school I did a lot of math and um, science and stuff like that. And I really wanted, I wanted to be a doctor, but, um, it was kind of, like, forced upon by, like, my, my grandpa, my grandfather and my mom, my dad, mostly. But, um, I don't know, I was always interested in, like, how, um, like, how and why people die and, like, um, like, the cause and stuff like that. So, like, I was really considering, um, being a pathologist and going into pathology. Um, because I thought that was really interesting. Um, I'm considering going back to school to either get, um, and like either a separate degree in like psychology or even like going in for, for, um, my master's or something. Um, I was also thinking about getting like a second teachable and stuff like that, um, to teach school and stuff like that. yeah, that's pretty much what, if that answers that question. I or not, but those are my ideal dream jobs kind of thing. But, um, you know, Jesse's not a doctor, so clearly that fell through. <laughs> um, number eight, uh, what body modification would you get um, if you wanted a body mod? Uh, I was thinking maybe a tattoo. Um, I, I'm very indecisive um, when it comes to, like, tattoos and stuff, because, like, I like stuff I like something at first and then like after a while I'll hate it so I don't want to like get something permanently on my body just so like in a few months I'd hate it or something or like regret getting it um oh if um I've always wanted like a like a foot tattoo kind of thing um a couple years ago I, me and my mom we were going to get uh, matching foot tattoos and she was really into it and then I ended up going to college, and then I completely forgot. And then I was just like, well, maybe, no, kind of thing. Um, it was going to be like a Black Widow spider on our feet. <laughs> um, another one would be like, um, I have it like written down because I couldn't remember what it was. Um, but I was also considering like, um, 
like, uh, I don't know. I was thinking, like, getting a spider web on my arm. Because, um, my best friend Jade, she has a spider web on her arm as well. And, um, I was thinking on getting, like, pretty much bugs. I love bugs and, like, spiders and, like, anything like that. So, like, it depends, really. But, um, yeah. I don't know if that helped. Did that answer the question? Um, that was also, like, um... For other body mods, I was thinking about like my ears and stuff. Um, I was thinking I might. I was thinking on going bigger, but I don't know. I like I like the size that I'm at now, and I'd have to if I went bigger, I'd have to take um, these piercings out and stuff. So I don't know. There's that, um, and I was also thinking of um, either getting like my conch pierced or getting like a vertical. A vertical piercing or something like that in here because like my ears like I have space for like a vertical thing but like my ears aren't really like a good enough kind of like I don't have like the f what's it called the thing to do like a, a bar so like I was thinking about getting like a vertical piercing but then um, I don't know I'm just very indecisive when it comes to stuff like that but I like I like piercings because like if I don't like them I can like take them out eventually um, when I want to. <laughs> um, number nine, what is your next YouTube video um, that I'm gonna pl that I'm planning to upload? Uh, I have two older videos that I'm going to be posting soon. Um, one of them is lengthy, and it's very it's kind of like a more serious tone video, and it's it's well, I'll tell you what it's about. Um, it's about like why is I decided to start my YouTube channel, why I'm always in my pajamas, and, um, like, that kind of stuff, and why I'm, like, toned down my videos a lot. Um, my other videos is, like, eyebrows. I'm gonna post a video on that. It's, um, pretty much, like, like, why I decided to shave my eyebrows off, why I grow them back occasionally, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, those are, like, my other ones. Maybe I'll do a couple more Outfit of the Days. Uh, I'm not sure. I still have a tutorial planned um, that I'm going to be posting eventually. It's about it's going to be like um, wet back wet back combing and stuff. Um, like just briefly, um, wet back combing is more to do with um, cotton style dreads than um, synthetic ones, but it works either way. Um, so yeah, there's that. So hopefully I, I do those and you know. I don't forget. Um, number 10. What is the name of your cat or dog? I don't understand what that has to do with like gothic things, but okay. Um, I've had a, several black cats um, in my life. Um, as a kid I had um, I had probably four different black cats. Like we've had a lot of cats growing up. Um, one of them was named well, two of them were named Fluffy. <laughs> um, we had one named Scary, and um, I can't remember what the other one's name was. But like, we ended up taking those in those two cats in because they were my aunt's cats, and um, she started dating someone that was allergic to cats, so we ended up with her cats. Um, and then um, our the oldest cats that we had, um, Whiskey, was twenty. Two, I think when she died um, she was my brother's cat and he had her forever and um, as some of you have seen in most of my tutorials my cat Rambo he was 16 um, when he passed away and that was um, in November about a year or so it's been about a year and like seven months since um, he died um, I still have a dog um, we called him Fred, just like, I don't, I don't even know why. Um, we give our animals people names, except for, um, well, Rambo, um, I got given to me by a woman when I was in elementary school, and um, we didn't want to change the name or anything. Um, but Fred, it's um, P-H-R-E-D-D, -D, so it's like phonically correct kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know why my mom named him that. Um, he lives with my parents. Um, but, like, I really, like, I've been thinking about getting a dog here, um, but, like, dogs require, like, a lot of commitment and, um, time 
and I don't really have, like, like I'm not like financially stable enough to support a dog, um, so yeah. But like, if I if I ever um, had like a, a, like the money to, I was thinking on like um, uh, an Alaskan Malamute um, or a Husky or even um, a German Shepherd because like I really love those kind of dogs. I like big dogs. Um, I find them very like gorgeous and and strong kind of dog. Um, I also like, um, what are they called? Corgis, <laughs> just because of um, Cowboy Bebop, you know, Ayn, that doggy is adorable. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's kind of, that answers that question, right? So um, those are all of the, the questions um, for this tag. Um, if you want to do this tag, feel free. Um, I don't really know that many other goth YouTubers online, so if you just, if you want to, just go right ahead and do it, um, and make, like, a video response or something. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe, um, if you want to learn more about dreads and stuff like that, subscribe to me, add my Facebook page thing, it's there for you to post pictures and to ask me stuff. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, video, and, um, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.